Therapists at St. Luke's Magic Valley are trained to use mirrors or mirror boxes like this one to help patients recover from injury which results in amputation of a limb. The mirrors trick the patient's brain into thinking they're moving their effective limb when they're really just seeing the reflection of their functioning limb. When people undergo an amputation, they often have the experience of feeling like the limb is still there, and oftentimes that feeling is associated with pain. Um, and they found that by placing um, a mirror um, to reflect the sound limb or the limb that was not amputated and taking the patient through a series of movements that they can actually relieve the pain. Further research has shown the therapy also has applications for other types of patients, such as those with nerve injuries or stroke victims. We actually use this for patients with paralyzed arms and legs. Um, and it's one of, it's not the only treatment, but it's one treatment we use to help people regain motor function after stroke and paralysis. Dr. Myers likes the treatment because it's very inexpensive and provides a simple alternative to medication for phantom pain. If we start them immediately when they get to the rehab unit, they typically don't require any medications for phantom limb pain. Uh, conversely, I've taken care of patients that um, you know, are 10, 15 years out from an amputation that didn't have the benefit of this treatment, and they're taking a ton of pain medications. Dr. Myers also says there aren't restrictions on when the therapy can be used. Even patients who may have experienced an amputation years ago can begin mirror therapy now with good results. I'm Kevin Ryan reporting for St. Luke's Health System.